What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. Today's video is going to be episode 2 of my crypto trading series. Since the first episode on July 18th, I've had some massive profits and I am going to be doing some trades in this video and show you what I'm currently bullish on for the next couple weeks. I'm also going to be doing a $100 Bitcoin giveaway in this video as well at the end of this video, so be sure to stick through to the end. Uh, so before we get started, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hit the bell to be notified when I make new crypto videos. I'm doing at least five crypto videos per week right now and trying to scale that up. Also comment below, what are your thoughts on my portfolio right now and what would you be buying and trading? So before we get started in my Binance portfolio, I want to let you guys know I'm not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Also, this is not my entire portfolio. I do hold other altcoins that are just not on Binance US and hold other cryptos and do other things with cryptos that are not in my Binance portfolio. My Binance US portfolio, I started with $10,000 in here just to show you guys my journey from $10,000 to $100,000. And my goal is to achieve this by the end of 2021, hopefully by mid 2021, I think is even possible. So we uh, started with $10,000 and we're already up a lot. I'm gonna show you guys how much exactly so the number um, displayed here is gonna be different because I do need to hold 500 BNB in my account in order to get better affiliate commissions. So if you aren't signed up for Binance US, I do appreciate if you use my Binance US link to sign up. So before we get into the trades, I do wanna recommend some crypto tools that I use and highly recommend. The first one being a crypto portfolio and taxes tracker. Um, if you use the affiliate link in the video description or the comments, you will get 10% off on this and I do highly recommend this. It makes your taxes very simple every year and then the crypto portfolio tracker is great as well. It gives you daily, weekly, and monthly profit and loss statements and it helps you keep track of uh, where you're at with your portfolio as well. This is really great to use. Um, so during tax season, this will save you many hours on your crypto taxes. All you have to do is come here and then there's a uh, printout that you just print out and take to your tax person. It makes it very simple for them. Um, so last tax season, I didn't have this and it took me over 10 hours to do my taxes and it was a big mess. So I will be using this. It does pay for itself basically with the time that you're saving from doing your own crypto taxes. And then the portfolio tracking is just a huge bonus on top of that and really helps out as well. So next thing I would recommend is using a VPN, especially if you're doing any crypto trading. This one is just 99 cents for a seven day trial and has the highest trust pilot score of 4.8. You can also use this on up to 10 devices. So you could use it on your mobile phone as well as your desktop computers and share it with your friends and family. Um, and this will protect up to 10 devices. So I highly recommend using this. There's a link to this in the video description. So next I would recommend using a Ledger hardware wallet for any cryptocurrency you wanna store long-term. I only keep crypto on exchanges while I'm day trading with it and then remove it from the exchange as soon as I'm done. Um, so for the Binance US, I'm only keeping it there for example, but I would normally take that crypto off as soon as I'm done with my trades and then send it back when I do wanna do more trades. Um, so any crypto you have on an exchange is technically not your crypto. Since you don't own the private keys to that cryptocurrency, it's not your cryptocurrency. If that exchange gets hacked, your cryptocurrency can be stolen and never returned. So if you don't already have a Ledger hardware wallet, I would recommend picking one up. There is a new version of it too, the Ledger Nano X. Um, there are family packs as well if you do want to have a backup just in case yours dies or something happens to it. Um, there is some cheaper discounts here. So there is a link to buy these in the video description. It does give me a small commission if you do use that link, which helps me grow the channel and make better quality content. So I do appreciate you guys using any affiliate links from the video description. I will be doing a $100 Bitcoin giveaway at the end of this video as well. So my current balance on Binance US is $25,234 and I did start with much less. So we are going to have to subtract BNB from here. I have 500 BNB in this account just to get the uh, better affiliate commissions on my referrals. Uh, so we will subtract that total BNB amount. So that BNB is actually up a lot as well. Uh, so we're going to take $25,000. Uh, $234 subtracted by 11,432. So I'm now at three, $13,802. That's $3,800 profit I made since July 18th, which is massive. So this ends up being a 38% profit in just the last few weeks, which is just insane considering most traditional investments, you get three to 5% per year if you're lucky. 
So the fact I just pulled 38% in a couple weeks with cryptocurrencies is just insane. Uh, some of these picks I could have done even better as well if I put um, that ADA into Ethereum, which did give me the most profits. So I'm gonna go over what I'm gonna be trading for the next few weeks and hopefully we could get similar results. My goal is to turn that $10,000 I started with into $100,000 by mid to end 2021. And I do think that's gonna be possible with the current bull market that we're in. So in every video of this trading series, I am gonna be updating the spreadsheet to give you guys more accurate information on what I'm trading and what my profits are. So the first video was on July 18th. We started with $10,000 once you subtract the Binance BNB. Uh, we did a split between ADA and Ethereum mostly. We also bought a small amount of Atom and Zcash, which Zcash is up a lot as well. Today is August 6th. Uh, we're now at a balance of $13,802 with a profit from the last video of $3,802. So my plan for the next couple weeks is to sell most of these altcoins to Bitcoin. I am most bullish on Bitcoin right now, and that's because all of the news that's coming out, it's getting a lot of mainstream coverage, and uh, the technical analysis also lines up. So I really think Bitcoin's gonna be breaking $15,000 within August, um, and also could be breaking new all-time highs for Bitcoin as well. Uh, we just saw gold break all-time highs, and uh, gold and Bitcoin are being correlated right now a lot in mainstream news. Uh, you can check out my last video on Bitcoin on my channel if you do want to get more um, in-depth details on why Bitcoin is so bullish right now and why I'm buying. So we're going to go to the exchange here and we are going to be selling a majority of the Ethereum for Bitcoin. So I am going to be selling about 75% of the Ethereum I'm holding right now for Bitcoin. And that's going to end up being around 11 and a half Ethereum and giving me around 0.38 Bitcoin. So I put that order in. I'm also going to be selling um, some of my ADA for Bitcoin as well temporarily. Um, so I will be doing 50% of the ADA because I am still pretty bullish on ADA. I do think a lot of stuff is coming. I have a recent video on Cardano ADA as well. You should definitely check that out. Um, so I am gonna be selling 50% of that Cardano. And that should give me 0.2 Bitcoin. Also, I'm going to be selling the Zcash that I bought because that's up pretty good. So there's no Bitcoin Zcash pair, so I will have to sell that to USD and then buy Bitcoin with that USD. So I'm just going to do 100% of that since I wasn't holding a lot of Zcash on here. So I did end up selling 50% of my ADA, 75% of my Ethereum, $500 worth of Atom, and all the Zcash I was holding, which gave me a grand total of 0.73 Bitcoin, which adds up to $8,750 of Bitcoin. Um, I am pretty bullish on that, but I did keep some ADA, Ethereum, and Atom because those are pretty bullish as well. And I do want to stay diversified, although I'm still most bullish on Bitcoin. So I will give you guys another update in a couple of weeks um, when I am planning to sell that Bitcoin. Hopefully it does go up to that $15,000 Bitcoin level um, by the end of August. And I will be selling some and adjusting my portfolio and giving you guys another update. So some major news that recently happened for Bitcoin. Uh, gold hit its all-time high and a lot of news in the mainstream media has been correlating um, gold and Bitcoin together. So as we can see here, uh, markets insider young investors have flooded into Bitcoin during the pandemic, while the older generation can't get enough of gold. Another on Bloomberg, older investors go for gold, younger ones Bitcoin. So a lot of articles like this on huge websites, as well as a lot of um, channels on TV covering this as well. So lots of news coverage for Bitcoin. And I think a lot of people are going to be investing in Bitcoin for the first time, especially with the inflation we have coming up and everything with the economy happening. So three ways US Fed printing is fueling huge gold, silver and Bitcoin rally. This came out yesterday and I definitely think a lot of people are uh, realizing the amount of inflation that's coming and um, the purchasing power they're going to be losing on their savings account. So they're really looking for alternative stores of wealth, which is going to be gold, silver, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies. Gold just hitting its all-time high is a huge confirmation that Bitcoin is going to rally soon, in my opinion, as well as the crypto space in general. But I do think uh, the entry is going to be Bitcoin for most newcomers. 
Uh, so yesterday also, Bitcoin will break $400,000 in the long term, uh, which is breaking the market cap of gold. Uh, this was said by Pomp, who is huge on Bitcoin. Um, so if Bitcoin did hit the price of $400,000 per Bitcoin, it would pass the total market cap of gold. This is, of course, a very long term goal, uh, but I do believe it's going to happen. So gold currently over $8 trillion global market cap. The entire crypto space global market cap right now is only around 360 billion. So we haven't even touched $1 trillion in the global market cap yet for all cryptos combined. That's taking every cryptocurrency coin out there, adding the value of all of those up together. Um, so every crypto that exists in the crypto space added up only adds up to 360 billion right now. So we are still very new to the cryptocurrency space in my opinion. And if you are here right now, I do think you're going to be greatly rewarded. As we do see um, from my last video, I made 38% in just the last couple weeks, and I could have even done better than that. So the price of Bitcoin right now is at a crucial level. It is at a uh, major resistance level of around $11,500 to $12,000. Last time we were around this price was July 2019, and that was leading up to the launch of the back to exchange, which I think wasn't as big as many people were hoping. Um, at that time as well, a lot more Bitcoin was coming into circulation every day. In May, we did have the third Bitcoin halving, which reduces the amount of Bitcoin that comes into circulation by 900 Bitcoin per day. And if you really add that up, it really does add up over time. And I think over time, we're definitely going to see that effect on the price of Bitcoin. So uh, 900 Bitcoin per day times 30 days, 27,000 Bitcoin per month, six months, that's 162,000 Bitcoin. If we multiply that by the current price of Bitcoin of 11,850, we're getting around $2 billion worth of Bitcoin that um, isn't coming into circulation every six months. And that's just at the current price. If Bitcoin does break its all time high, then this will be a much greater total. So $2 billion less coming into circulation. At the same time, Bitcoin demand is skyrocketing right now, being correlated with gold all the inflation that's happening and people are just looking for alternative investments than the traditional investments they're currently in. Uh, many people are expecting a real estate crash that's gonna be coming as well. So a lot of people are buying gold right now. It just hit its all time high. I do believe Bitcoin is next and we will be seeing that play out over the next few weeks, I believe. So I'm going to extend the last Bitcoin giveaway I announced a few videos ago because only about four people entered properly. Um, it ended up having weird requirements and not working out. So I will extend this Bitcoin giveaway to give more people a chance to enter um, in this video. So all you have to do in this video is like this video, share this video you're watching on Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit to help give it exposure and more exposure to cryptocurrencies in general. Comment below on this video with your Bitcoin wallet ID that you want the $100 of Bitcoin sent to. And also let me know what you thought about this video and what altcoins are you most bullish on for the end of August. The winner for this $100 Bitcoin uh, giveaway will be selected on August 12th in my video on that day and I will send out that $100 of Bitcoin on in that video. So very simple to enter. I would like to start doing $100 Bitcoin giveaway for every trading uh, series video I do. So um, I do appreciate you guys using my affiliate links in the video description. It does help fund these Bitcoin giveaways. Uh, so far I'm just funding these myself. But if you guys do use those links regularly, then I will be able to start doing uh, Bitcoin giveaways more often as well. So I do appreciate that. Uh, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please subscribe and be sure to share it with anyone that would be interested in following me on this journey of 10 grand uh, all the way to 100 grand from trading cryptocurrencies on Binance US. I hope you guys found it useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.